Heading to the scrapyard today. Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, Jason with HOJ Forge. Um, after work, I'm heading home and I thought I'd swing by the scrapyard and maybe take you along for the ride. Sorry, the video is tilting. I'm uh, trying to drive without looking at the camera. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stop by the scrapyard and I'll give you an idea of what I look for when I'm going to the scrapyard. So figured I'd give you a couple of channel updates real quick. Uh, first and foremost, thanks again to uh, everybody that has signed up for Patreon. Um, in most cases, there's always two videos. Now, uh, with this one today, you know, it's just a strip, trip to the scrapyard, so there's not going to be. Uh, with the, the Tong video last night um, for the Forging It Forward, I didn't do a separate Patreon. But most of the time, there's uh, two videos. There's a normal YouTube one, and then there's an expanded one for Patreon. So, um, you know, you get a little more detail. You get a little more of my thought process of, of what I go through. Uh, when I'm forging something up and so I'm trying to give you your money's worth for uh, signing up it's a buck a month um, and you know I'm, I'm hoping it's worth it to you guys and so far um, y'all seem to be liking it so thank you so much so I'm at my favorite scrap place and it's just a little oh privately owned one right next to the big corporate one and I actually like this little private one better. There's better scrap at the one next door, but um, I don't know. They're kind of jerks. So uh, I like this one. All right, so hopefully the wind isn't so bad and I can tell you about the uh, other thing. Uh, I'm starting a Facebook group. It's about 20 hours since I posted that video about the forging it forward. And the response has been amazing. Uh, lots of people wanting to get involved. Some people, you know, looking for help. Some people wanting to mentor. Some people wanting to offer tools to people that need tools. Um, and I thought I'd just start a Facebook group to try and help facilitate the meeting of the new guys with the guys that, uh, you know, a little more seasoned and can offer the help. So I'll put a link in the description and I'm really looking for people um, if you know anything about Facebook groups because I don't know anything about them. I'm a, a member of a couple of them, but I don't know how to run them or anything. So um, if there's anyone with knowledge and would like to get involved with that aspect of it, that would be fantastic. So this is my favorite script. I love this script here. Uh, I can you can find just about anything depending on the day at this scrapyard. So here's a big piece of farm equipment, uh, a disc, right? That's what these things are called. I bet you those are some decent steel. Uh, I didn't bring my tools with me to uh, even attempt to try and pull those off, though. But you can always find something cool here. From this winter, I love it. So, as a car guy that loves turning wrenches, <laughs> there's something about that pile that I both love and hate. You can see engines just like that. Oh, it's so sad. So, this is the pile I always come to first. Um, it's the pile where you'll find, like, here's some leaf spring cutoffs. Um, if I find like the drag tines that I like to make my ooze from, it's always going to be in this pile. Uh, lawnmower blades, which I never use because I, I just I don't like the steel in them. But uh, this is where you're going to find a lot of stuff. Coil springs. Uh, I just saw a quick loose one over here. There's one. That I don't need them right now, but uh, they make great tools. You know, like I said in the previous video, I just straighten those out and cut them into five or six inch chunks and then they're ready to go for punches and whatever I need uh, there's an axle shaft you know, great for hammers and whatnot and then most of this is just mild steel uh, if you want to you know, forge whatever you can just 
grab some mild steel and off you go. There's some good 52100 and a bunch of those bearings if uh, you like working with that stuff. I personally hate it, so uh, I'm not going to grab those today. If you're ever looking for cheap car parts, going to your metal scrapyard and not your auto parts junkyard may be the way to go. Because depending on what you're looking for on an engine or from a vehicle, from a wrecked vehicle that you? comes to the... Uh, what's that? Can I help you? Oh no, just... Uh, Wow, I've never been asked not to film here at uh, at this scrapyard, but um, yeah, that's all right. One of Virgil's workers um, decided that he didn't want me taking video of the place, and that's fine. That's their place. They can uh, make whatever rules they want, but uh, did not dampen my spirits. I found a couple of things. So, got a couple of pieces of uh, free bar for some handles for the knives, because... Uh, been running short and then I found this huge I don't know what this is it looks like a helper spring to something I don't know. It, it's gigantic it's probably three inches wide and you know, five eighths of an inch thick thick uh, it is it is a massive hunk of steel a uh, massive hunk of spring steel they didn't have any of those drag tines that I like so um, I was thinking I've got a bunch of ulus to make I'm gonna try making some out of this I don't know how that'll go, but we'll have some fun with that. So, sorry about that. I really wanted to give uh, some more insight on what you can find at the scrapyards, what can make good knives and things like that. But, I um, guess we're going to have to cut it short for the day. Um, yeah, I'm not going over to the big corporate one. Just It's too cold out here today. It looked like it was going to be warmer, and nope. Eh, Northern Michigan, what you going to do? So, uh, we'll just cut it a little short for this video but uh, a couple of little insights before I got cut off about what you can find at the scrapyard and please if you'd like to uh, to help out with the Facebook channel um, for the forging it forward please uh, get a hold of me and let me know it's brand spanking new as of the making of this video I think I'm the only member so <laughs> that's that's how new it is um, but uh, we'll get it going and hopefully it'll it'll help some people out I will uh, catch you all on the next video. Have a great day and be safe.